Our question today is, in a commercial sales contract, should tenant estoppels be a requirement or a contingency? Well, that's a good question. And most of the times I see contracts where the seller agrees to have tenants sign estoppels, which are basically agreements confirming uh, the lease is true and correct, nothing's owed between the parties, and, um, and it's usually pretty straightforward to get them. At the same time, if you're selling a commercial property, and you're guaranteeing in a sales contract to provide these estoppels in a form that's acceptable to the tenant or the buyer or the buyer's lender. What happens if the tenant doesn't like that form? Or let's say the tenant doesn't want to sign them and just refuses. Well, you could be in uh, default of your sales contract with the buyer. The buyer could have some problems with that. Maybe he's doing a 1031. Maybe he has some damages. So I believe as a seller, it's better to have the tenant estoppels that you're requiring uh, that you're, you're required to get for the purchaser to be a contingency in the contract. So therefore, if a tenant says he's not going to sign or he's not going to sign the form of estoppel the buyer wants, the buyer can't sue you for default of the contract. His only remedy will be to cancel the contract. Enjoy and prosper. Ask Michael Bull is brought to you by The Commercial Real Estate Show, Florida International University, and Bull Realty Commercial Brokerage, a great place to do business. For more information on these companies or to access additional podcasts, videos, or blogs, visit commercialrealestateshow.com.